Hey everybody, do you know what I like to do after a long day at the LCS, going through value boxes, looking at thousands of baseball cards? I like to come home, relax, and look at some baseball cards. This is my response video for John Mangini. Alright, so as most of you know, John is always showing off some amazing unique items on his channel. And today, I'm going to show you some stuff that you've not seen on my channel before. And you've not seen on John's channel. Mostly because John has good taste and he's a smarter collector. That's not the point. So, we're going to be dealing with some, some heavy duty cards here. So, I got a weight lifting glove here. Make sure we're well protected. So... Now we can get into it. We'll start off with some some regular cards, and then I got some unique items from the the Hedgehog Vault. Uh, there's a the I think this is the '63 Fleers. They're in pretty rough shape, but it's a Nelly Fox. We got several checklist cards here. There's an Angels team card. Is that 79? No, 76. Cecil Cooper. It's a gem cot. Bucky Dent. There's a gem rice. That is the 78. Yes. We got 79 Tom Seaver. Johnny Bench. George Foster. That one's actually in not too bad a shape. Like I said, these are all from the childhood collection, so there's going to be some rough ones. There's Tommy John, Rod Carew. We got some Reggie Jacksons, Billy Martin. I've not looked through these in quite some time. I mean, I took a glance at them when I first got back in, but I don't really know what's in here. Let's grab a yeah, I'll just grab another stack here. We got Harold Baines, Keith Hernandez, Jim Allen Trammell. Tim Raines, there's a Reggie Jackson. Yeah, some of these aren't too bad. Some of these I'm not really sure why I have them. The Hawk, there's Brett Butler, 85. Let's see what else might be in here. Ah, uh, there's, a, there's a Danny Ainge. Here. Here's some, uh, these are those scratch-offs where I think that's 93, the gold winners, where you could hold them up to a, a light if you were wanting to win. It's a Tom Seaver action pack. Here's uh, some uh, pictures of 53s, but I'm not sure what these came from. Uh, bazooka. I think I remember these came in, came in boxes of bazooka bubble gum. There's a Robin Yacht Sport Flex. 86. Ah, oh, this is cool. Didn't realize I had that. It's a... Gossage, one of the Kellogg's, 82. Tim Salmon. And some bench warmers. We can take our time with those, I guess. And 
We got some Jordans. Larry Bird, more Jordans. Back to baseball. More the action pack. The action packs are pretty cool. All right, let's see what else is in here. As you can see, I got the nunchucks back there because we got some some big boy cards out. So I want to make sure they're protected. So let that be a warning to anybody that's trying to come and take my Chris Sabos. I do have nunchucks and I am skilled in the art of running away from danger. But before I do that, I will throw something at you. And nunchucks are pretty big, so there's a, a good chance they might hit you. I remember this. This is a Domino's quarterback set. $49.95, and I actually paid that back in the day. It might be worth all of 2 or $3 dollars now. I remember pulling this David Robinson. Uh, we were in uh, middle school, and they sold packs of baseball, basketball, whatever. And, uh, of course, me and my friends, we always used our, our lunch money and uh, snack money was spent on cards. We never ate. And I pulled this. Everybody wanted it. Nobody got that one. Joe Montana. And we got a Bo Jackson. It's a nice yellow top loader. And Joe Carter's. There's Joey Bell. And another Joe Carter. No real rhyme or reason to what's in here, I don't think. Um, there's a post cereal pack. It's got a, it's like Gary Sheffield, and we got Frank Thomas on the back there. And we've got some Fleer basketball cards. Out of Tony's Pizza. There's a 92.93. And here's a Ken Griffey Jr. pen or coin. 1990 tops. Here's a Quaker. Granola bar set. I'm pretty sure Mangley's not in that either. Well, he's in the set, but he is. The card is removed out of there. Well, we can look. Might as well look through them. We got the gloves on, so everyone's protected here. Willie McGee, Dwight Gooden. Tony Gwynn, Dale Murph, Pete Rose, Nolan Ryan, Ryan Sandberg, Ozzy. Surprisingly, aren't in too bad shape because I'm pretty sure I probably had them out looking at them several times. Lee Boggs, George Brett. Ricky Henderson, it's a cool shot. Reggie Jackson. Eddie Murray. Phil Negro. Jim Rice. There's a Cal Ripken. Dave Winfield. Where's that? Eddie Murray. He always reminds me of Samuel L. Jackson a little bit from uh, Pulp Fiction. Some of the 
magazine cards. Got a little bit of those. As a kid, I didn't like these, but uh, they've definitely grown on me. I wish I had kept a lot more of them. Larry Bird from Sports Illustrated. Carl Malone and a Robin Young. And there's some other things hiding here on the side of the box. Some more tombstone. So that's a. I guess they're pogs. It's a Barry Sanders. And we got, I can't read the Randall Cunningham. And here's a ticket from the Louisville Redbirds. Uh, 1989. Pretty cool. Um, and got a Johnny Bench Cooperstown coin from Hillshire Farm Cons. Nineteen eighty nine. So, uh, oh, that is about it for this box. Uh, appreciate everyone watching. Congratulations, John, on the uh, 900 plus subs. I'm surprised you don't have way more than that. Um, really appreciate the contest. Thank you very much for the for that. It's very generous. Uh, if for some reason you don't know who John Mangini is, the link is down below. Please go check him out. Um, you will not be disappointed. It's simply amazing. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Take care.